like to uh, thank the panel for their questions. With the time remaining, I'm going to open things up to the cards. If you have a couple that you want to jot down, please feel free to raise your hand. We can still get them up here at the last second. Uh, I'll start with this one. Uh, on the topic of energy, uh, what is your plan to reduce our uh, reliance on foreign oil and produce more renewable energy? Ms. Ayotte? I think we need to have a broad, comprehensive energy policy in this country. And what that means, it will be good for our environment, it will also be good for our economy, and that means expanded use of nuclear power. We haven't put a new nuclear power plant online in nearly 20 years in this country, yet the technology has gotten so much better. We also need to expand our use of renewable, renewable of all forms, and certainly here in New Hampshire, uh, renewables is an important part of our economy as well. Uh, we have natural resources in this country that we are not using, including natural gas resources that we should be using rather than continuing to purchase oil from those who don't like us and obviously supporting their economies rather than ours. And finally, conservation is an important part moving forward, uh, not only to protect our environment, but to make sure that we reduce our energy costs and our dependency on foreign oil. Thank you. Mr. Hodes. I think we need to become number one in the world um, in six years in energy, energy efficiency and renewable energy. Um, it is the place that we enhance our national security. Uh, there's no reason we should be spending billions of dollars uh, and shipping it overseas uh, to countries, to the sheiks who are supporting terrorists who want to hurt us. Uh, we've got to deal with climate change because the economic implications uh, for New Hampshire are devastating. Imagine New Hampshire without ski areas, without maple syrup, and with a climate like Florida's. And it's the place to create new jobs. It's the place for the next industrial revolution. It's the place where we can grow jobs here in New Hampshire uh, and around the country. So I think it's absolutely crucial that we lead the world. Right now, China is spending twice what we are on renewable energy and energy efficiency. They have pledged a hundred billion dollar program. Uh, they are closing coal plants. They are stealing a march on us and we can't afford it. We should be shipping the goods and services overseas um, to uh, lead the world in renewable energy and energy efficiency. Uh, we've got to make the transition uh, from a fossil fuel economy to a clean energy economy. Uh, one thing I will not support, uh, as my opponent does, is the possibility of drilling for oil off Hampton Beach or off, uh, off Portsmouth. I don't think that's the way to go. We've seen that that way uh, lies disaster. Uh, but we need a comprehensive approach that moves us towards renewable energy and energy efficiency. 30 seconds. Well, well first of all, uh, again, I think that states should make the decision whether or not drilling should occur off their coasts. And if that were ever happened here, that would be a decision in New Hampshire. It wouldn't be one I would support, but the people of New Hampshire have the right to make that decision. What I wouldn't support is the cap-and-trade Waxman-Markey bill that Congressman Hode supported, which is going to increase all of our energy costs and really hurt jobs and the economy. And with respect to how we compete against China and India, they are not going to agree to similar terms, and it's going to further cause us to ship jobs overseas, unfortunately, if that goes forward. Ms. Ayat, will you pledge, as a United States Senator, to oppose any drilling off the coast of New Hampshire for oil? You know, Congressman Hodes, uh, I don't support it. Uh, but I will tell you that I think that states should have the right to make that decision. And certainly uh, other states may make a different decision than New Hampshire, but the people of New Hampshire have the right to make that decision. I personally don't support it, uh, but there are other states that uh, may support uh, drilling. We've seen it certainly uh, in other areas where it's a big part of the state's economy, Mr. not Hodes. here in New so Hampshire. Does that mean you'll pledge to oppose it as a United States senator? Let me just jump in and ask the next question.